Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Doris, and today let's go, let's talk about the U.S. economist, and let's today talk about the U.S. economist forecast. Just as corporate earnings start to grow again, the U.S. economy is starting to slowing down, making it very clear that the U.S. economy is in a recession. From the earnings that we can see from the S&P 500 companies. Earnings have fallen for three consecutive quarters since fourth of quarter of 2022, and now 75% of the S&P 500 companies have reported earnings, looking like to grow again in the third quarter. While 80% of the companies beat expectations, the U.S. stock market re reaction was flat. Seven report. Thomas S. A. R. said the company's third quarter was not as good, but not as bad to meet good standards. But the S and P 500 has a 2024 EPS forecast of 242 dollars, closing to the level before the earnings season. S. A. R. also noted that Whirlpool, Allied Technology, and the Harley Davidson. Reported the signs of weakening consumer demand. The results of these companies show that the consumer spending may be slower, and if this is true, we'll get we'll be more worried about the negative impact of the growth scare in in late 2023 and early 2024. But there may be more than just a panic coming soon. In 2022, everyone joined the recession forecast as the S&P 500 sold off. And the Fed rate hike and the curve yield inverted, but as the U.S. economy continued to grow, the GDP grew by 4.9 percent in the third quarter, and the stock market found a foothold. Even if the fears of a recession did not co completely disappear, it has been put to the backside, and those who insisted on the recession as their baseline forecast missed the stock market rally. By ignoring the possibility of a recession is a risk, is a great mistake. And then a lot of evidence is beginning to suggest that the possibility is increasing. The leading indicators to continue point to a a recession, and the M2 monetary supply is predicting the rate of decline. Deutsche Bank analyst Jim Reed noted that the Fed's latest senior loan offer survey shows that the while banking <coughs> while bank lending has improved, it is still at the level that predicted a looming recession. Can lending standards improve at a rate that prevents important borrowers from becoming too constrained, or have access to capital and pushes the economy into a difficult, a more difficult situation? Other indicators are also sending out stronger recession signals than they did 12 months ago. While 15, while 115,000 jobs were added in October, the unemployment rate to rose to 3.9 percent, the highest level since January 2022, and 0.5 percentage points above the cyclical low of 3.4 percent set in January and April. Strategists believe that the unemployment, the rise in the unemployment, may seem more modest right now, but if it happens in nine months, it will usually mean the peak of the economic cycle or a recession. And even with new jobs, it'll not offset the warning. Positive employment and GDP growth is the earliest stage of the early stages of the recession that is unprecedented. Looking at the yield curve, inverted yield curve, which worried everyone about the possibility of a recession in 2022, may now argue that the inverted yield curve seems to have lost. Credibility as a predictor for inf inf recession, but it can be said that inverted yield curve is misunderstood rather than flawed. The most severely inverted inver yield curve was on March 8th, when the two-year Treasury yield was 1.09 percentage points than the 10-year Treasury yield. Starting on March 8th, the recession will begin in December. But the things, but things are really so simple. The recession in nine months later is just an average. The recession may come in in a shorter time, may also take longer time to continue to come. Sometimes in a very long time. 1998 yield curve after the severest, most severe. Inversion. The U.S. economy in 33 months into a recession, and at the same time, the S&P 500 before the internet bubble burst soared 68 percent. Looking at the history, if the situation happens in 1990s, happen again in early 2024, the recession will be delayed at the end of 2024 or 2025. 
This is all I have for today. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next episode.